Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C Language Programming Series. Our topic for today is about tokens and semicolon. Okay, so let's uh, proceed. So as you notice, we have here this is our second video okay on my tutorial so what you need to do is to create on the left side of the screen we have created sandata underscore program 3 that cpp now the last time we create the last program we created is uh, having a file name of sandata underscore program 2 that cpp so what you need to do is to copy this code and uh, you can click uh, send data underscore program 3.cvp and you can paste it here. Then afterwards, um, so it is uh, incomplete, I go back and I check. So this are not yet been copied okay so that's it now after copying from the program from Sandata program 2 to program 3 we need to uh, exclude the program to from the project right here then click this one and right now we have the program 2 has been copied to program 3 and uh, we're going to run this code okay you can click debug and start without debugging let's check it out so if it is right okay so build started in the lower part of the screen, build succeeded, and we have the output. Okay, so this is the last time uh, output that uh, I've discussed. Okay, so I'm going to close this, and right now, what I'm going to do is to discuss our topic, okay, for today, which is what do you call a token okay so uh, so let me check so our topic for today is about token okay um So the first thing we're going to identify is uh, what is the meaning of a token and uh, what can a token can do in uh, programming language. So a token is used in C language programming um, and token can be considered having uh, five items or type in a programming language the first one that uh, a token is a keyword okay so a keyword maybe you can type your name your your age and that is the keyword next a token is also an identifier so an identifier is the same as a keyword but uh, it is uh, used by programmer by adapting such word coming from their client okay the third one is a constant a constant is a keyword or identifier that having only one value 
and the the fourth one is a string literals literals okay so a string literal literals can be considered as a combination of a character and the last one a token can be a symbol okay now um a symbol is any character as what we've discussed uh, last time in our previous video okay now um, let's have an example of uh, a code here in our token so what we need to do is to type print f Then afterwards, um, open parenthesis, double quote, and I'm going to type here, babuhay. Babuhay. Double quote. Okay. So right now, what uh, we need to identify right here this one we're going to identify the token okay remember we have uh, five uh, considering uh, a token while you are doing such code in programming C language now uh, we need to run this first okay I'm going to make this one and this one a the comment so that we can have only uh, this one so print f mabuhay okay so let's uh, check if this uh, code is considered to be running by clicking debug and start without debugging yes and ready it succeeded so we have mabuhay right here buhay and that is the code we we've created okay. now uh, let's close this one now let me discuss this uh, token in our code printf mabuhay so let's check out so this one is considered to be the uh, first token the second one and the third and the fourth and the fifth okay so this one is the uh, first token okay we have printf and printf is a keyword okay now the second one Yes, this is the second token. Okay, the second token. Okay, and we have the uh, third token. Third token. Okay, which is Babuhay. And Babuhay is considered to be a string literals this one is considered to be a symbol okay this one so this one is the uh, fourth token and the last one we have here is the fifth token Okay, so and this is semicolon. Okay, um, now what uh, we need to do is to run this code so that we can clearly understand what is 
a token doing in our code okay and that's it okay what what we need to do right now is to run this code by separating uh, those token in a different line okay in a different line okay um, so let's check out click debug start without debugging click yes so we have build search ready build succeeded and it is still running the reason is that uh, have an output mabuhay the reason is that the the token is completed okay even though we have plenty of white spaces so this is considered to be white spaces this is white spaces and it the, the, the C language compiler never mind okay the white spaces but the C language compiler look for its token to make it complete okay until they reach until they reach the semicolon okay now what is a semicolon okay that is our second topic so semicolon okay a semicolon is a statement is a statement terminator is a statement terminator okay that is a semicolon a statement terminator so our topic for today is about token and token is a keyword identifier constant string literal symbols which is composes in our code blocks okay to make it complete and it, the token must be ended by a semicolon okay that's why a semicolon is a statement terminator so until the C language compiler reach this thing it identifies that this is the end not this one not this one not this one and not this one but if they reach semicolon and that is the end of the first code you've created Okay, so uh, thank you for your time watching this video. Uh, for more videos, uh, check out my email syvillerialjr0105-1975 at uh, yahoo.com.ph Okay, goodbye.